Hello, my name is Jeff Johnson, Business Development Manager for PowerMation. With primary focus on our safety product offering, what I'd like to talk to you today about is a relatively new product utilizing radar-based technology for industrial safety applications. The company Inspect has developed a radar-based volumetric present sensing safety system that has been third-party certified as a safety device. Because this is a present sensing safety product, it falls under the Electrosensitive Protective Equipment, or ESPE, and has been UL certified as a Type 3 per IEC 61496. With this new technology being used for industrial safety applications, it warrants a deeper dive to provide a better understanding of how the Inspect radar-based safety system could potentially be used for your safety applications. So the goal of this presentation is to discuss the following. What are the primary safety functions? What are some of the advantages of a radar-based safety system? What is the system comprised of? How does the system controller function? And how do the sensors work? Inspec calls this system the LBK, and it's an active radar-based protection system designed to monitor and protect personnel from injuries related to hazardous machine motion. Now, it's important to keep in mind that this is for full body protection. This is not finger protection, hand protection, foot protection. This is full body protection system. So the two primary safety functions this thing's designed to accomplish is access detection and restart prevention. Very similar to the laser scanner, access detection provides a safe stop command to machinery when personnel enters into the defined hazardous area. You can also provide a safe speed command when someone enters into the pre-alarm or warning area. So the restart prevention is designed to inhibit a machine start or even a restart if personnel is detected into the defined hazardous area. It keeps the safety output de-energized when micro movements are detected. So this thing can actually detect our rib cage expanding. So Inspect did a really nice job creating a simulation video on the, how this restart uh, prevention could be applied in an application. I'd like to play it here for your reference. So what are some of the key advantages of this radar-based safety system versus an optical-based safety system? First and foremost, this product is highly immune uh, to those manufacturing byproducts that will cause excessive downtime for those optical safety devices. So things like dust or smoke, weld spatter, sparks, water droplets, vapor, oil mist, all that stuff will eventually wreak havoc on an optical-based safety system and, of course, create uh, excessive downtime for the manufacturing process. The other big difference with this product is that this is volumetric presence sensing. So when you think of laser scanners or light curtains, those are detecting on a single plane and a single plane only. So anything above or below the laser scanner beam or outside of the scope of the light curtain detection zone, obviously those objects or people will not be detected. The sensors are extremely robust to uh, machine vibrations uh, very forgiving an alignment process between the sensors. It's a very simple system to configure uh, through their software application. So another really neat feature of this product is that it is extremely tolerant to inert objects or objects that are not, not moving and remaining in the field of vision. So tool carts is a, is a great example of that. So if you have a tool cart 
uh, coming in and out of the work cell, they no longer have to be in the exact same position every time you want to restart the process. So well, what is the inspect or the LBK system comprised of? Really nothing more than the controller, the sensor, the cables, and the programming software. That's it. So just for clarification, uh, Inspect just announced the release of a new controller, the ISC B01. Now, this is going to significantly expand the Inspect capabilities with uh, field bus communications. For all practical purposes, though, functionality of the system is going to be the same. And so we'll cover more details in the ISC B01 controller at a later date. With this system, you can connect from one to a maximum of six sensors per controller. The controller collects and interpolates the reflected signals received from all the sensors, and it compares those positions of the detected objects with the thresholds configured by the users. The controller de-energizes the safe output when one of the sensors detects motion inside the defined hazardous area. System configuration is done through the inspect software, and that configuration file is then downloaded to the controller through a USB connection. System also manages all the I.O. configured by the user. So the LBK C22 controller has one dual channel force guided safe output. It has two auxiliary relay outputs, which are also configurable through the software. So you can configure it for pre-alarm, muting status, or fault. It has three dual channel safe inputs configurable through the software, where you could have sensor muting, an e-stop connection, or restart for those processes requiring a manual restart. Well, the purpose of the sensor is to transmit and receive the radio waves, detect motion in its field of view, and signal motion and diagnostic information to the system controller through the CAN bus communications. So the inspect system is designed around what's called Frequency Modulated Continuous Wave Radar Technology, or FMCW. Now the running in the K-band right around 24 gigahertz. Now, this is extremely low power, but really effective for these types of applications. So the reflected signals are recovered, analyzed, then interpolated utilizing a proprietary algorithm for determination of a static or moving object sensed in its field of view. Now, the system was specifically designed to differentiate between a moving target and a static target. Well, the sensors are rated IP67 and therefore are suitable for both uh, indoor and outdoor applications. And keep in mind, they can be positioned up to three meters in height. I think it's important to understand some of the factors that influence the reflected signals. So very simply, radar measures the distance and speed of an object by measuring and interpolating the reflected radio waves that strike that object. The amount of electromagnetic energy reflected by an object is defined as the radar cross-section. The radio wave reflected back by the object depends on a host of characteristics, but some of the key ones are material. So metallic objects have a very high coefficient of reflection, while paper, plastic, wood, and foam and things like that have a very low coefficient of reflection. So objects with high water content, like us human beings, has a very good reflection coefficient. This is one of the key reasons why this technology can be used in a safety product. Keep in mind that this system has been designed, tested, and validated to detect the human body. Surface area exposure is another factor that influences the reflective signal. The greater the surface area, the greater the reflective signal. Position, objects directly in front of the sensor generates a higher reflective signal with respect to those objects off to the side of the sensor. Well, angle of incidence is another factor that influences the reflective signal. So for example, a one foot square steel plate held perpendicular to the radar beam will have a significantly different radar cross section than the same plate held at say a 60 degree angle to the radar beam. Speed of the object also has a factor that influences the reflective signal. Oddly enough, the faster the motion of the object, the greater the reflective signal. So we mentioned that this system was a volumetric-based present sensing system. It's important to note that you can configure each sensor independently in your safety system for either a wide field of coverage 
where the horizontal plane is 110 degrees and the vertical plane is 30 degrees, or narrow field of coverage where the horizontal plane is 50 degrees and the vertical plane is 15 degrees. The sensing distance can also be configured for each sensor in your system from a minimum of one meter to a maximum of four meters. Inspect has incorporated some additional configurable features that may be important for your safety application. There's anti-tapering, masking, and muting. The sensors do have an accelerometer that detects rotation around its longitudinal and transverse axes. So the changes in the inclination angle will put the system into alarm mode, de-energizing the safe output. Now it's important to remember that this, this feature can be enabled or disabled based on your specific safety application. When the configuration file is downloaded to the controller, the sensors memorize the reflected signals back to each one of the sensors. So if one of the sensors detects a significant change in the environment that obstructs its field of vision, a masking fault will be generated, de-energizing the safe output. Just like the anti-tampering feature, you also have the ability to enable or disable the masking fault through the software configuration. Muting is another configurable feature which allows for the temporary suspension of the safety functions. You can have up to three groups of sensors with the combination of one to six sensors in each group. In this example, sensors one, two, three, and four are in group one, and sensors five and six are in group two. This allows for the sensors in group one to be muted while the process is running. The sensors in group one would be unmuted when the process is stopped and used for verification that the cell is clear of operators or personnel prior to reinitiating the process. Group two sensors, five and six, would be active at all times. So an intrusion into that zone would inhibit the process. With any safety system using ESP devices, it's very important to do your due diligence. Perform your risk assessment and calculate your safe stop distances. It's really no different than what you need to do with laser scanners or light curtains. Inspect makes it very easy. They provide the formulas for you, so it's not that difficult. Response time on the Inspect system, regardless if there is one sensor or six sensors tied to the controller, is 100 milliseconds. For your convenience, PowerMation has partnered with Turk and Inspect to offer cable assemblies designed specifically for the LBK system. The cables are stocked in multiple configuration and lengths with a part numbering scheme that makes it simple and easy to specify cables desired. Please contact your PowerMation sales representative for any additional information needed. It's exciting to see companies like Inspect bring new products with innovative technologies to the industrial safety market. The LBK system with its radar-based volumetric presence sensing detection provides the opportunity to implement safety to those applications and processes not feasible with other safety products. This can help lead to improved safety and productivity. Hopefully this quick overview provided some insight on how the Inspect product works. To get more detailed information, please contact your PowerMation sales representative.